back. We are here at EMC World 2012. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage, wall-to-wall -wall coverage of EMC World, and the theme this year is transformation. And EMC is talking about transforming IT, business, and yourself. IT, as we've been talking about all week, is the cloud. The cloud transforms IT infrastructure. Business is transforming because they're realizing that Data, big data, is really the new source of competitive advantage and being able to monetize data is changing businesses around the world, giving huge leverage and increases in productivity. The U piece is quite interesting. So you may be a storage administrator, a backup administrator, you may be spending a lot of time managing LUNs and the like. Your role is going to change. The cloud is going to transform your role, big data is going to transform your role, and you are going to have to change the way in which you approach yourself, your training, your education, your skill sets. And we're here with Tom Clancy and Jason Mundy of EMC. Tom is the Vice President of EMC's Education Services, and Jason works in the marketing side uh, uh, as Director of Marketing for Education Services. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Thanks Dave. So Pleasure. this is a really you know, interesting angle on, uh, for an IT conference. You don't really hear a lot about you know, transforming yourself. You, know, you hear a lot about infrastructure, hey, we're going to sell more hardware and more software, mm -hmm. more services, but um, you guys are focused, Tom, on the, 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 the individual, the personal side. Mm -hmm. So uh, talk a little bit about your organization and then we'll tie it into what's going on here at EMC World. Okay, so first of all, when you come to these types of uh, big events, it's not usually about uh, you know, transforming yourself. You know, we, we often have to fight to be you know, at the table from an education services point of view. Uh, an education group uh, in general, but we're front and center all over the place. Um, from an education services point of view, we're doing so much now, more than we've ever done before. So whether it's training our own people at EMC, our partners, our customers, our academic alliance uh, students, uh, we're just all over the place. It's, it's our traditional products, it's cl virtualized products, uh, it's cloud, it's big data. Uh, it, there's just so much going on. It's really exciting. Now, two big areas of curriculum are a cloud. You have a cloud architect curriculum and also a data scientist program, right? Exactly. And uh, now you launched those fairly recently. Uh, how, how, how's the uptake been? Uh, on the cloud side, huge. The numbers are in the thousands. Um, mm -hmm. Many, many employees from EMC and again partners and customers. Mm -hmm. The certifications now are in the thousands for our, our cloud curriculum. And on the data science side, uh, that's new but we have a big uptake. Uh, customers especially love the fact that we have a data science course because you know, in the past it was business analyst. Uh, now it's business mm -hmm. analyst, but it's also this new data science thing that helps to monetize their businesses. So uh, exciting, great stuff. So Jason, how do you socialize this? How do you get the word out about these programs? Well, we, we obviously do all the traditional marketing, right? We, we have web coverage, we do uh, a lot of email campaigns, but a lot of it is word of mouth. So the Proven Professional Program has such a, a strong reputation in the industry with our customers and also our partners because it is the primary enablement factor for our partners. Most people know about it. So whenever we announce anything new, uh, there's a lot of interest. Cloud Architect has taken off tremendously, as Tom just mentioned. Um, we literally do not have to do a lot of marketing around that because of the transformation that's happening in the industry. Our customers, partners, and actually people outside of our customer base are coming to us for that. Same thing with data science, huge interest in it. You know, we've just started to um, get some of the, the certifications uh, through. We have, we have a small number of people who are certified, but the backlog for people who are interested in taking the course is just tremendous, it's huge. We can't keep up with the uh, demand. So we're trying to scale that out right now. It's just, it, it's sort of, it's a huge wave coming at us. So what types of people are coming to you? I mean, it makes sense, you guys, you know, your traditional storage business, you're selling to a lot of storage admins, operational people, um, and I can see them saying, hey, we're transforming our business to cloud, we're moving to IT services, I better really, you know, get up to speed on that. Is that sort of the traditional storage administrator base, the IT manager base? moving, you know, reaching out to you in the cloud architect side, is that, is that correct? Yeah, it, well, it, yeah. it's a, it's, again, it's across the board, and it all depends on which type of education service customer it is. So, service providers. Uh, we're training service providers all across the world. Really? Yeah, in the thousands. Um, you know, so let's say, you know, service providers out of India. Um, oh yeah, okay. we, we can't get, keep up with the demand. Um, there is, there's one service provider that we're working with, a combination of, uh, you know, uh, of an end customer and a service provider on the cloud, 
uh, first level cloud, um, CIS course, they want to train 5,000 people at this one, one account, 5,000. So then, how do you do that? And they want to do it as soon as possible. And after they do that, they want to go to the next level, which is cloud architect, and then the next level after that, which is IT as a service. Well, how do you do that? Are you scaling by do, doing a lot of online curriculum? We, we have a, a blended approach. Mm -hmm. So, we absolutely do you know, 10 people in class at a time. That doesn't cut it, though. Uh, so we also have, one of our preferred ways is video ILT. So think about DVD-based training, but we, we videotape and package up the best instructor we have, mm -hmm. so now that best instructor scales overnight globally. And then in the future, of course, we will be streaming, and we do some streaming now. So it's uh, you know, on demand, on command, right now. And the certification comes through, uh, you got a stringent certification process, they got to take tests and... The, yeah. the course is tied directly to yeah. the certification oh. test. Fantastic. So and that's how we can get thousands certification, of people. So it's, it's it's very it's very robust. Right? You know, it's difficult. You know, it's not it's not an easy thing. You can't to just mail it in. Yeah, uh, it's, not, it's not ten questions and you're good. It's like, it's hard. And the data science piece yeah. is how, who who are the type of people who are coming to you for the data science curriculum? So in my view, um, look at the best business analysts that you could possibly have in your company. Those are the types of data science the people that make up the data science world. But there's there's also, if you talk to someone that's really good at being a business analyst, and you say, are you a data scientist? A lot of them would come back and say, no, I'm just not qualified. Because they have to have a mathematics background, statistics, machine learning, they have to be very creative because the way they, they research and, and present the data back to the business unit leaders. Uh, it's a very niche uh, world out there in data science now, but it's growing dramatically. Yeah. It's interesting, we've, we've got, it, it, it's got broad appeal across many different types of business functions. Um, we have people, traditional uh, database analysts, we have people who come out of engineering functions, support, you know, our own support organization is using uh, business analytics to look, how, look at how we can be more predictive and proactive in supporting our customers. So we have a lot of different folks who are interested in this curriculum coming from our customers, as well as our own employees, obviously, um, who don't really traditionally think of themselves as data scientists, but they're actually performing a lot of that analytical function. So it, it's quite interesting to see the, the demand and the interest that we're getting from across the industry uh, for the, for the new curriculum. So this is a critical time in our industry. We talk about the waves, yeah. we heard Joe Tucci talking about the waves. They only come around once every 10 years. Don't yeah. miss this one, really. I mean, I, I really want to urge people that you really have to think about you know, your personal growth. I know you're busy, you're, you're deploying new systems on July 3rd, you know, and when yeah, everybody else exactly. is on the beach. But you got to step back, think about your own career, yeah. Think about what cloud means to you. Think about what big data means. There's a real opportunity out there, and, uh, and it's great to hear from EMC, you guys, Tom and Jason. Thanks for coming on the cube and sharing yeah. with us. Uh, uh, how do people get more information? Where do they go? Um, Education.emc.com. Okay. Or if you want, give me an email. Tom.clancy at emc.com, and I'll take care of you. All right, swap them. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, right. Keep it right there. We'll be back with uh, more coverage from EMC World Live from Las Vegas, 2012. Thanks, Dave. thank you.